everyone. How you guys doing today? <clears throat> I am Ryan McCrary, CEO and founder of McCrary Financial Solutions. So we provide financial solutions to the African American community through financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and digital marketing, social media marketing, making money online, making money digitally, uh, making money in 2018. <clears throat> So if you get on here, please share, uh, please share this information, uh, please share on all platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Um, if you um, want all my social media handles, um, if you want to follow me, of course, on Facebook is my name or my business page. If you haven't already and you watch this on my business page, please, uh, please like my business page, McCray Financial Solutions, if you haven't already. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's my own boss, 87 my own boss 87 if you want to follow me on twitter or periscope is ryan mccrary 87 ryan mccrary 87 and also if you want to uh follow me on i'm sorry subscribe to my youtube channel is uh ryan mccrary i'm sorry youtube.com slash ryan mccrary youtube.com slash ryan mccrary sorry i'm trying to do too many things at once so today i just want to talk about business upsells down sales cross sales sales funnels everything so also, if you have questions, uh, please drop them in. I like to just answer a few questions if people get on. So uh, like I said, again, if you get on here, please share. Please share this information on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, if you got a Facebook group, share it in your Facebook group. If you uh, have a Facebook business page, share it on your business page. I share everybody's stuff on my business page. Um, so again, I'm going to talk about business. Uh, again, if you uh, need my social media handles, uh, again, on Instagram is my own boss 87 my own boss 87 If you haven't already, please like my business page or like our I Buy Black Filler page, I Buy Black Filler page. Uh, also, if you want to follow me on Twitter or Periscope is Ryan McCrary 87 Ryan McCrary 87 And lastly, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Getting a lot of subscribers, trying to get a lot more. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Ryan McCrary, youtube.com slash Ryan McCrary. So today I want to talk about business and upsells. If you are an entrepreneur, if you are a business owner, do you have an upsell in your business? Let me know. Do you have an upsell in your business? What is an upsell? An upsell is another offer that we give to a customer once they purchase something. So once they already purchase something, how do we get it right back into the store? After someone purchases something, a product from your store or product or service, whatever it is, after they do that, how do we get them right back into the store right away immediately? And there are many different ways to do that. We may offer a coupon that only is good for the next 24 hours. We may offer a coupon on their next purchase uh, or if they purchase within the next 30 days, something like that. Or we may offer another product or service that uh, is complementary to what they just purchased. So something else that complements what they just purchased. So just look at all, just look at all the big uh, all the big um, companies out there. All the big companies out there, they all have upsells. They all have upsells. So for your business, uh, do you have the right upsell in your business? Are you uh, at a position where you can capitalize on additional revenue in your business? Let me know. Let me know. We need to be capturing on these upsets on this additional revenue that we can uh, get. Uh, you know, I want to really come in because I want to talk to people. I really want to help people because we as a community, we need to level up our business. We need to level up how we do business so people can really take us seriously. I uh, really want to come back, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or the next day on like all the proper ways to do business. I'm going to do actually two parts. All the proper ways to do business because a lot of people are in a community. We're not doing business the proper way. We're not doing business the proper way. Many different ways on how I could explain how we're not doing business the proper way. But a lot of us just aren't doing business the proper way. So make people want to purchase your product. Make people want to purchase your product or service, not just because they're black, because it's a good product or service. So do you, so there is an importance of having an upsell in your business. 
Make sure you have the right upsell in your business. Make sure you have a sales funnel in your business. A lot of people don't even know what a funnel is. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, make sure you know what a sales funnel is. Make sure you have a sales funnel. Make sure you know what a sales funnel is. Make sure you have a sales funnel. So just look at it. When you go buy a new phone, when you go buy a new phone, I just had to buy one because my old phone messed up. So when you go buy a new phone, what do they do? As soon as you go to purchase a new phone, they're always trying to upsell you more products. They're trying to upsell you more products. So yeah, do you want the screen protector? Do you want the case? Well, you can get the whole bundle pack with a car charger in it. And that'll just be an extra $80 added on to your purchase because you're going to need that anyway. Upsells. Make sure you have an upsell in your business. Make sure you have the right upsell in your business. So like I said, when you go to purchase a new phone, what do they do? As soon as you purchase a new phone, what do they say? Oh, well, you know, for extra $80, you could get the car charger. You could get the screen protector. You can get the um, the, the case off of your phone. But you just went in there. You just went in there just to purchase the phone. So that's how they get you. You went in there just to purchase the phone, but then you end up spending an extra $100, $200 because they have an effective upsell. So that is why if you are a business owner or you want to be a business owner or whatever, uh, having a nice upsell in place could be a way to just tack on more money. And a lot of people don't even think about it. A lot of people, we just think about selling that one product or service. So we have a t-shirt or we have a candle or we have a service that we're getting to people. We're just thinking about this one service. If I can get this one product or service to this customer, I'm good. No, we need to scale up our uh, level of business and how we think about business. We need to have many, many different upsells to get, grow more revenue in the business so we can really scale properly. Because if you look at all the big companies, that's what they do. That is what they do. When you go to McDonald's and you want a sandwich, what do they say? Do you want just fries and a drink with that? Do you want fries and a drink with that? As people come on, start sharing this information, please. Uh, get people on here, share this uh, on your, or, or your page or your uh, business page, platform, whatever. So when you go into the store, uh, what are they doing? They're trying to get you to get that uh, fries and drink with that burger. When you go to purchase a car, what do they do? When you go to purchase a car, what do they do? They try to sell you the warranty. So you went in there just trying to get a car, just trying to get it, uh, you know, new car, new set of wheels, whatever it is. Um, but they're trying to also sell you the warranty and other things just to get more money out of your pocket. So we need to bring that money back into our pocket. We need to bring that uh, money back into the black community. So if you have a business, make sure you have the proper upsell in your business. Make sure you have the proper upsell in your business. So I'm just trying to drop business jewels for people uh, to really help you, uh, really help you just bring more revenue and just a lot of things that a lot of people don't even think about. So now me, when I do go buy something, I look at all the company's business structure. So I'm looking like, okay, how, you know, the, uh, how are they trying to get more money out of my pocket? And then we need to replicate that so we can put more money in our pocket. We need to replicate that so we can put more money into our pocket. So again, don't believe me. Just when you go out to purchase something, look at all the upsells they have in place. Like I said, if you go buy a new phone, what do they do? Oh, get the screen protector, get the uh, car charger, and get the case all to go with your new phone. All more money that the company will get. When you go to McDonald's, what do they do? They don't just want to sell you a sandwich, one thing. They want to sell you multiple things. They want to upsell you something. I was just on Vistaprint earlier, ordering some stuff. So when you go to uh, Vistaprint, as soon as you go to purchase something, what do they do? Or Amazon. A lot of people like Amazon. They go on Amazon. If you go on Amazon, what do they do? If you go on Amazon, they say, uh, well, people that bought this also purchased this. 
people that bought this also purchased this. That's just an upsell. That's just an upsell. So make sure you have that in your business. Make sure you have a step-by-step -step process uh, in your business. Make sure you are strategic in how you're selling products and services. We need to be more strategic uh, about how we're selling products and services. This is how we're going to survive. This is how businesses are going to survive. This is how we keep growing every quarter. This is how we scale up. This is how we get more revenue. We're not trying to be stagnant. Who on here is trying to be stagnant? I'm not trying to be stagnant. It's a new year. A lot of people are going to have all these amazing goals and dreams and stuff like that. But we need to have the proper plans in place so we can truly grow. So we can truly grow. So make sure you have the right upsell in your business. Oh, this is true. Yes, absolutely. Um, Pete's from Newburgh, New York. Vincent, how you doing, King? Um, again, if anybody has questions, also, I love to uh, answer them. A lot of people have been asking me just a lot of stuff lately about like online. They want to launch a new business. They're confused about this, you know, uh, whatever it may be. So if you guys have questions, uh, I love to drop them in. But uh, we need to make sure in our businesses we have the proper funnels. We make sure we have the proper sales funnels. A lot of you know, how many people hit me up that have businesses that don't even know what a sales funnel is? A lot of people hit me up that have businesses that don't even know what a sales funnel is. So make sure you know what a sales funnel is, number one, and then make sure you have one. Make sure you have a step-by-step -step process for people to purchase your product. Because just think about it. Me, I like I said, I don't want to be stagnant. I want to compete at the highest level. I want us to uh, go after and see whatever, so whatever Apple's doing, we can do that. Whatever Disney's doing, we can do that. They all started in garages. It might take some time. It might take years. It might take generations. That's why we build generational wealth. It might take years. Uh, but with all the information out here nowadays, all you have to do is read. All you got to do is read. All you have to do is learn. The information is out there. So if we see the big boys, Apple doing it, Disney doing it, whoever doing it. If we see how they doing it, we need to be implementing that also in business. So if we're going to do real business, we need to be seeing what other people are doing. And I'm seeing what they're doing and I'm seeing what we're not doing. So that is why I'm bringing this information to the people. I was buying some merchandise from a black company and he felt guilty about upselling to me, but he at least had it in place. That's good. That is good. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, listen, I was glad that he had it in place. I mean, that is because that, like, as business, I, I can relate to that because as business owners, uh, we're just happy to have somebody come in and buy that we don't even really, like, want to just give you the traditional sales pitch. We don't even, we, uh, they don't, um, we don't even want to give that traditional sales pitch. Like, honestly, like, because if we don't support black-owned businesses, who's going to support black-owned businesses? That's why I say uh, we have to support black-owned businesses. Like, there is no if, ands, or buts. There ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. We got to support black-owned businesses because if we don't, who's going to? Tell me. Tell me who comes into black-owned businesses besides black people. Who do we have to depend on? I told him, don't worry, I was going to buy from him. Yeah, so that's what's up. That's why we need more people like you doing that. Um, that is what's up. But I can relate to that because, like I said, uh, as black-owned business owners, we ain't got the capital. We ain't got the people supporting like other businesses. The Asian uh, community, if you're Asian or you're Chinese, you open a store in Chinatown, you're going to automatically make money. Like, you tell me, like, I don't really see any struggling businesses in Chinatown. And they all look alike. All the businesses look alike. They all look the same. Like, what the, the what does things, one Chinese, and, and this is not against them or anything. I'm just actually paying homage to them. What, uh, when you go down Chinatown, what distinction do you have between businesses? I can't even tell a distinction between businesses. And they all making money. Why? Because they support their own. They support their own. So we as black-owned business owners, 
we're just so happy when somebody comes into the store. We might try to give you extra stuff or offer. No, we don't want to upsell. We don't want to give you the traditional sales pitch because we're just so happy and we want to build that rapport with that customer because we're just so happy to have money come in because it's not that easy. It's not that easy. We're dealing with a lot of other things. Uh, you know, of course, psychological damage. We've been psychologically damaged, of course, forever. Uh, not forever, but, you know, since we came to this country. So we're dealing with that. You know, we're dealing with people think the white man's ice is always colder. So we're dealing with a lot of challenges. Um, but, yeah, I can definitely relate to that. But like I said, that is the importance of having to support black-owned businesses. That is what we talked about at the All Black National Convention. Like I even said, I'm like, listen, we got I buy black shirt, sure, got we buy black. You don't see we buy Chinese. When have you ever seen we buy Chinese? When have you ever seen I buy Jewish? It doesn't exist because they already know. They already know you're not going to see I buy Chinese or we buy Jewish. No, they already know we support our own. Like it's, it's common sense to us. It's common sense to us. Hi, Tierra. How you doing, queen? Vincent says, 30 vendors that day, two were black. I shopped these two and uh, stepped. Plus, we must be repeat. Yeah, exactly. We got to be repeat customers. We got to be repeat customers. Everybody gets on, please share. If you haven't shared already, please share. Um, yes, we, we definitely have to be repeat customers. That is all about building that rapport. That is all about building that rapport. Seriously. But... We got to make sure we have those upsells in place for the people like Vincent who actually put the money where their mouth is and actually do support. So we got to have those upsells in place so we can capitalize on just making more money into the business for people to actually want to spend money. Trevor, what's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, also, if anybody has business questions, finance questions, please feel free to put them in. I love to help you. Uh, I'm doing a lot more business coaching lately because it's me being in the entrepreneurship game now for a little while now, just seeing a lot of things now, learning a lot, reading a lot. Uh, I just want to offer myself as a resource because I see a lot of people just doing things that uh, they just should be doing differently when it pertains to business. When it pertains to real business, doing real business, really making money online, really having a real sales funnel, uh, really getting those repeat customers, really having sustainable revenue, uh, we have to really level up when it comes to business. We have to level up when it comes to business, seriously. We need to not just be doing business the traditional way. We have to do business uh, a certain way. So, like I said, that's why we got to have these upsells and downsells and cross sales and a whole bunch of other stuff. Offering stuff uh, uh, for free, for value, just to build a rapport, build a relationship with a customer. Because that's real entrepreneurship. Uh, real entrepreneurs know, most of them, they know that it's not just about money. Most entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs that I know, they're not just in it for the money. If you're just in it for the money, that's a great way to go out of business because a lot of people are going to see that. You're not, it's going to be hard to build a real customer loyal base if they see that you're only about the money. So real entrepreneurs that I know, it's not just about the money. Of course, we need money. We need money to grow a business and all that, but it's not just about the money. I love when the thing I've been giving to clients are confirmed good moves by people like you, Andre and boys keep grinding, bro. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So that is why. Yeah. And I see, um, what you said yesterday, like I be dropping jewels on a lot of people. A lot of people don't even catch them. Like I seriously be dropping jewels all the time. A lot of people just don't even catch them. Like seriously. So when I'm dropping jewels, make sure you catch them because if you don't, you're going to be hitting me up later. You're going to be emailing me later. You're going to be texting me later, asking me these questions when I could have gave you these jewels for free. A lot of people hitting me up and asking me questions and messaging me when you could have just took my course and all the shit is in the course. So that is why I do this stuff. Uh, especially, you know, with online and business stuff like that, a lot of uh, that information is in my course. So instead of paying a consulting fee, which is actually going to go up uh, starting January 1st, uh, instead of paying that, which is going to be higher, 
you could just pay for the course and then you have all the information. You got screen shares, you got resources, you can go back and watch it as self-study, uh, and you can just get more for your money. Can you wink or something so I know it's a jewel? You got to catch it. You got to catch the jewel. You got to catch the jewel. Mad Jewels. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm down with you, boys. Mogul Tribe. Yeah, shout out to Lene. I fucks with Lene. Shout out to her. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to the whole camp. Uh, Dr. Boyce. Just everybody. Tierra, Brianda, Lauren, and just the whole camp. Michelle. I fuck with Michelle. Heavy. Um, yeah, just shout out to the whole camp. Um, okay, so again, if you haven't shared, please share. So this is not just for business owners, even though it does pertain to business, but if you are a business owner, what is the upsell? What is the upsell? What are we upselling? If we do hair, what are we upselling? If we do hair, so if you do hair, you got your own salon, yo, I just did your hair. Uh, you know, I got these other products that go good with your hair. So if you get this new cream or this new spray or whatever, this new line that I have, you know you can get that too. Upsell. That is how you upsell. There can be an upsell literally in any business. You just got to uh, figure it out. Uh, you just got to have your correct sales funnel in place. So again, you make sure you have a sales funnel. Make sure you have a sales funnel. We're not just doing business Come and purchase my product. Come into my store, and that's it. No, what are you doing to get people into the store? What are you getting to do people to get them engaged to want to even come to your store? And when they do come to your store, what are you doing? What process are we taking them through to get them to purchase the product? Because most people that come to the store or going to your online store aren't ready to purchase the first time. So what are we doing? When you have an online business, 97% of the people that come into your store are not ready to purchase the first time. 97% of the people that land on your website are not ready to purchase the first time. So what are we doing with them? We're nurturing them. We're capturing them. We're engaging with them. We're seeing what they want. A lot of people put products and services out and they don't even know if people want them. They don't even know if people want them. When I worked for Foot Locker, the upsell was extra laces and insoles. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Every business has it. So if you don't think this shit is important and you have a business, what are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, if you don't have upside, you're doing good. That's fine. Absolutely. But this is for the people that sell real products and services. People that have a real business. Not an MLM, not no scheme or not no other type of shit. People that have real businesses. Real businesses is numbers. So a lot of people uh, come to me in my business uh, hi, how you doing, queen? Hit me up, please. We ain't talking a minute. We need to talk. We need to reconnect. It's been a while, so please text me so we can really talk because it's been a while. We definitely got to catch up. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm talking about people that really do business. A lot of people hit me up talking about business, business, business. Like, business is numbers. So, us just talking about stuff and having ideas and bouncing ideas, that's good. Absolutely. I love building partnerships, build a lot of partnerships. But real business is about numbers. So let's talk about numbers. How much revenue did you make? How much does it cost to acquire your customers? How much is in your marketing budget? What is your average order value? When someone goes to purchase your product or they come into your store, what is the average amount that they spend? Is it $50? Is it $100? And how do we double that? So do we double it by getting more customers or do we offer an upsell to double the revenue? That is real business. I don't know what a lot of people be doing, but this is for the real people that really do business. Taking a good picture on Instagram is not business. That might be good. You might be trying to build a brand. Absolutely. But just taking a nice picture while you're on vacation, what does that got to do with business? A lot of people are getting the game fucked up. Like the real entrepreneurs that I know, they say this shit is not easy. This shit is hard. Mark Cuban said he didn't take a vacation for eight years straight, but now he's a billionaire. So are you willing to make the real sacrifice to be a real entrepreneur or do you just want to talk about it? Real business about numbers. It is. It's about numbers. Like, I, real business is about numbers. It's objective. It's not subjective. It's not about ideas. No, it's about revenue. For sure, me and my team definitely need some advice. We're trying to build. Of course, I will help you. You know I will help you. 
Wow, you make me want to start a retail business. Yeah, I mean, it don't got to be a retail. It could be an online retail business. Like, don't. Brick and mortar is cool, but to me, that's outdated. If you're starting a business now, go online. Everything is digital. You could be on Shopify. Uh, start a Shopify store in about, honestly, 30 minutes probably. And you can have your own Shopify store online, full e-commerce store. They give you so many different resources, and you have a business. Um, so yeah, like I said, we as a community, we need to level up business. Business is about numbers. So when it comes to numbers, that, uh, upsell can offer more to your bottom line just by even offering it. A lot of people don't even offer it. My aunt has a flower shop. So when you buy flowers, they also try to sell you a vase. So yeah, you just bought those flowers, it's Valentine's Day or whatever, Mother's Day or whatever it is, you bought flowers for your significant other or your mother or whoever, so you bought those flowers, well, you need a vase with that? We have vases, you probably don't have a vase, so we have a vase that will go good with those flowers. Upsell, upsell, make sure you have the right upsell in your business. My wife is a children's author, but I want to do my own gig on Shopify. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Shopify, they give you a 14-day free trial. After that, the lowest price is 30 a month, which is affordable. Um, and for what they give you for uh, that monthly fee, what they give you for $30 is literally priceless. I suggest everybody get an e-commerce store. It's only $30 a month to actually have the store, and then you can put your products in there. You can launch a... a, a, a you can link a drop shipping option. So if you don't want to print and ship, you can drop ship everything or whatever you want to do. Shopify is the best e-commerce platform. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, there's other ones like Big Cartel and I don't know the other ones, but Shopify is the best. I seen when um, Black Friday weekend, Shopify was doing $400,000 a minute. They were processing $400,000 a minute of uh, orders with no glitch. I ain't see no glitch or nothing. In I bet somebody called me. Yeah, drop shit. Vincent, if you want me to help you, I mean, I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, you can send me an email, info at ryanjmccurry.com, info at ryanjmccurry.com, or um, you can go to my website, mccurryfinancialsolutions.com. I would like to expand my notary business. Can you help? Yes. Uh, Andre Hatchett is a notary person, uh, but I can definitely help you expand it. Absolutely. Um, please go to my website, McCrayFinancialSolutions.com, McCrayFinancialSolutions.com. You can schedule a session through my website, or you can email me, and we'll get back to you. Info at RyanJMcCrary.com, info at RyanJMcCrary.com. Yeah, I can definitely help you expand it. Uh, got to expand it digitally. You got to have a sales funnel. You got to have automation. You got to have a sequence. You got to have nurturing, and you need that automated process. So as soon as someone purchases upsell or whatever automate the whole process you know every week we're gonna uh, keep sending them information you know why they need to buy this go to different networking events if you're a notary business like people that you know do mortgages mortgage clothing uh closings all that type of stuff whatever people uh usually come to you for the notary you want to be in those other industries and networking trying to get some of their leads and put them into your business maybe put a partnership in place and say listen people that come and uh, they come to you for a mortgage, they get approved, they're going to need a notary with that. So let's try to partner that way so we can capture those leads and we can both make money because they're going to need both these products and services at the same time. Well, no glitch. Yeah, no glitch. Listen, no glitch. Black Friday was lovely. <clears throat> no glitch. No glitch. $400,000 a minute in transactions with no glitch. That don't mean it can't glitch, but it didn't glitch that weekend. Uh, Adidas system went down Black Friday. Yeah, it probably did. I mean, listen, Shopify was cool. That doesn't mean that, uh, Deb, you're welcome. That doesn't mean that it can't happen. That doesn't mean it can't. But on Black Friday weekend, they was processing $400,000 a minute. $400,000 a minute with no glitch, no nothing. Everything was straight. All orders that went through. All emails and everything, all follow-up. So Shopify, I definitely recommend Shopify. Shopify is one of the best, is the best e-commerce platform as far as I'm concerned. Very low cost. You have your own online store in minutes. Um, so yeah, again, 
Before we wrap, also, if you have any business or financial questions, please answer them now. You're getting uh, free consulting time right now that people pay hundreds of dollars for. Like I said, it's going to go up in uh, January 1st. The consulting fee is actually going to go up because it's a new year. We've got to pay bills. Cost to run a business. Uh, it costs for everything. Like I said, Shopify costs money and automation costs money to get on Zoom and webinars. That costs money. Everything costs money. Email marketing costs money to run my school costs money. Business costs money. Uh, it costs money. So that's why the consultant fee will be going up. But for right now, you have free consulting time right now. If you want to ask me any business or finance question, I'll be happy to answer in the next few minutes before we wrap. But again, the main thing for today was having an upsell. Whatever business you're in, put that upsell in there. That upsell might not work. Put in another upsell. Put in a different upsell. But you got to be thinking about, listen, how do we upsell? How do we upsell? A lot of people, uh, they want to launch a product or service. 2018, I'm going to launch this new product or service. But they only think about the product and service. No, that's not how we're doing business in 2018. We're not just thinking about the product or service. We're thinking about the whole funnel. We're thinking about the whole thing we can offer. We're not talking about one product or service. We're thinking about a whole line of things we're going to offer and how we're going to offer them. What's the step-by-step -step process? When are we going to upsell? When are we going to downsell? When are we going to cross-sell? All that type of stuff. Are we too late to get on this Bitcoin train or is it a fad? Uh, it's definitely not too late. Uh, no one knows if it's a fad or it's real. No one knows that. No one can answer that question. So a lot of people are saying Bitcoin, uh, is a scam. It's, it's a fad or it's not real, whatever. You don't know. And a lot of people saying you put money in Bitcoin. It's going to go to a hundred thousand. It's going to go to 50,000. We don't know specifically. No one knows for sure. No one can predict. It's so up in the air. Bitcoin has been doing great. People that bought it at pennies are millionaires. It's like 12, 13,000 now, it just keeps, keeps going up. Me personally, I think it's going to keep going up. Uh, I do think it's going to keep going up. Me personally, I don't know that. I'm not sure, but just in my personal opinion, I do think it's going to keep going up. So that's why I bought it. That's why I've already made money from it. But uh, is it too late? I definitely don't think it's too late. Um, I think if you have the resource, you have the money, why not go in and just see and purchase something and just see what it does? It's all about diversif uh, diversifying your portfolio. I'm big on diversification. Huge on diversification. I love assets. So I'm going to buy a lot of assets. Stocks, bonds, Bitcoin, gold. Put it in businesses, multiple businesses, brick and water business businesses, online businesses, uh, digital businesses, uh, also real estate and property and all that type of stuff and Gold and silver and ETFs and annuities and life insurance. And like, I can go on and on. I'm trying to buy, I'm trying to diversify a crazy ass portfolio. If you fuck with me, you're going to know I'm about assets and I'm trying to have a crazy ass portfolio. Shit that you probably may not even heard of. Shit that might even go over your head. That's the shit I want to buy. I don't want to go and buy Jordans. I'll buy Jordans or whatever. I want to buy assets. Let's put in the life insurance policy. Let's get an annuity while we at it. Also, while we're doing it, let's buy a 529 and some ETFs and some mutual funds and also put money in for retirement. And that's just that. And we're also going to purchase a couple of properties. Uh, and then we're going to put money into a business and scale the business. So we have like 50 different assets just chilling, making money, and all those assets work for themselves. Name the five things we should invest in. Um, I mean, honestly, that's more of a, that's kind of a personal question because um, it really depends on your style. I mean, the three things you should invest in, number one, just in general, do you mean like stocks or you mean in general? Because in general, the three main things you should invest in are real estate, definitely property. You want to invest in real estate. Like Andre Hatchett has the black real estate school dot com. Uh, your rental income will never be replaced. So a lot of jobs are getting replaced. Technology is replacing a lot of jobs. But rental income is never going to be replaced by technology. So number one, you want to be investing in real estate. Number two, you want to be investing in the stock market. Definitely want to be investing in the stock market. Uh, different companies. Every time you have money, just buy a different stock. Buy Apple and Facebook and all the shit you use. Just buy Snapchat, whatever you use. You go to Target, whatever. You go to Foot Locker. I'm going to buy some Foot Locker stock. Like whatever you use, just buy. And the third thing is business. So just from a macro level, the three main things you want to invest in are real estate. 
You want to invest in stocks and bonds, and you want to invest in businesses. That are the three main things, businesses, real estate, and stocks. That are the three main things you want to invest in. In the micro level, you just want to invest in everything. I literally buy just whole, I wake up like, what do I feel like buying? I went to Starbucks earlier. I'm about to buy a share in Starbucks. Fuck it. It's $60. Why not? Why not? We're going to buy $60 worth of weed. We'll go buy $200 worth of hair. We'll go to see Jumanji when it comes out for $40, $80 for our kids. We'll go to restaurants and spend $100, $200. we will go to a club. Oh, yeah. Rick Ross, Hove about to come. We're about to spend $200. we are about to spend $100 in the club at Vanity. We're about to buy two bottles of Vanity. That's going to be $80. We just spent 300 but we ain't buy no stocks. We ain't buy no Starbucks stock. We ain't buy no Nike stock, but we got Jordans. We ain't buy no Apple stock, but we got the new iPhone X. But we ain't buy no stock in the company. So we got to buy stock in the company because it's so easy to do. That's the main reason why I talk about it so much because it's just so easy to do. Um, literally, as easy as it is to check your bank account, as easy as it is to check your bank account, as easy it is to buy a share of stock. So just go in there and just purchase. If you want, you can go with E-Trade or Scott Trade or TD Ameritrade or Vanguard or T-Roll Price or Schwab or Fidelity. There are literally 50 different companies you can just go in and open a free account. Maybe put like $50 is the minimum for a lot of them and just put it in there. And then just start just buying stuff. Just go in there and just buy it. Just buy it. We got to have the investor mindset. Like I said, we'll go to the club with no problem. We'll go to restaurants with no problem. We'll go to the movies with no problem. We'll get Jordans, we'll get Yeezys, we'll stand in line for Yeezys and get a ticket and say if we really might get them or not. We're going to let us know if we get them to spend two, three hundred. But when it comes to investing, we like, I don't know. I don't know. Is Bitcoin real or is or is the stock market a, a stock market real? A risk too risky? Is the stock market for real? Are people really making money? No, nah, do I want to buy that property? Oh, I'm cool just renting. I'm cool renting that apartment. Do I really want to buy that property? Do I really want to start that business? I don't know. I don't know. The business might fail. I might go on Shopify and then I might not sell any products. So what? So what? Get out there and start investing. Invest. And it's not just about money. Investing is about time. What are you doing with your time? Are you investing your time into something that will give you an ROI? And what you're doing with your time right now, does it give you an ROI? So if you're investing time right now to listen to me, does that give you an ROI? So now you might not know anything about investing, about business, but investing 20 minutes now, I'm going to see an ROI because he just gave me some information that I didn't even really know about. And now I have Google and I can just Google all the shit that he talked about that I might not know what he's talking about. I could just Google it and read it or just uh, get a book and read it or go on YouTube and just learn so much information. What are we doing with our time? What are we doing with our time? How do you suggest I go learning more about the stock market? Uh, I have a course. It's a financial literacy course. We do cover topics on the stock market. It's not all about stocks, but we do cover some information about the stock market and other investments and business stuff like that. Uh, you can go to makingfinancialliteracycool.com. Makingfinancialliteracycool.com. Someone please type it in. Type it in there for me, please. Makingfinancialliteracycool.com. I think if you go to that website, it might even have a coupon code for you to get in uh, maybe like 20 or 30 or 40 percent off, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but the URL definitely works. That is my course. We go over in the stocks and there's a whole bunch of other things at a very low cost. There's literally thousands of dollars of information for under $100. So somebody type makingfinancialliteracycool.com, makingfinancialliteracycool.com. I have fidelity, but I need to step out of my comfort zone. Yeah, man, like do it. Just do it. Because when you spend that money somewhere else, that's never coming back. <coughs> that's never coming back. When you spend money outside the community, that's never coming back. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you for typing it. Vincent, thank you guys for typing it. When you spend money, it's never coming back. It's never coming back. So we got to balance the trade deficit. Balance the trade deficit. A lot of people don't have a lot of money to invest or a whole bunch of money, but we got some money. Almost everybody, not everybody, but mostly like just regular folks, you got some money to invest. So what's holding you back? 
Is it lack of information? Okay, we can provide that. Does Google University? Okay. Is it because you're scared? Like what? Like what is it? Let me know. Like I know a psychological damage of us as a people. I get that absolutely. But you as a person have to come to yourself and listen. Like, do I really want to level up or no? If you don't, that's cool. Me, I do. Do you really want to level up or no? Do I really want to get ahead and really leave something to my kids when I have the perfect opportunity now or no? What is it? That's something you have to ask yourself. Because with investing in wealth building and everything, 90% of it is mindset. 90% of it is not mindset. 90% of it is my drive around everywhere and just see and watch. Most of it is mindset. Like, because we have the resources, we have the money. If you go to Africa or you go to a third world country and just say you're broke, you live in North Philly, yes, it's fucked up. But if you go to Africa and you say, you know, I'm broke, they're going to be like, no, you ain't really broke. For real, for real. For real. If you got Jordans on, you ain't that broke. If you got an iPhone, you ain't that broke. So what are we doing? Are we really going to level up? Because we have the money and the resources. We have the money and the resources, but what are we doing with them? What are we doing with them? If we can line up and go to the Chinese store or whatever and spend money, whatever. Everybody in the community that gets rich off our dollars, uh, everybody that does that, if we have the money, so what are we doing with it? <clears throat> a lot of times you're scared of psychological. Yeah, that's cool. I always say people got money to do. Yeah, pe people do and spend what they want. We got money to spend it, but it's just, you know, are you really want to spend it? Do you really want to invest or no? Which one is it? <laughs> 50 Cent came to my town and people were lined up for miles to buy his liquor. Absolutely. F and vodka. I guarantee people were lined up uh, for that. But <clears throat> when we talk about financial literacy or wealth building, investing, we ain't lined up. We ain't lined up. So that's what I'm saying. We ain't that broke. We ain't that broke. If we really, really wanted to level up as a community, all the resources and money is there. We will line up. Seriously. Jay-Z was here, what, last week? Two weeks ago? I don't remember. I think it was two weeks ago now. Jay-Z was here. And the city was crazy. Crazy. Filled out the uh, Wells Fargo Center. Everybody lined up. People texting me, you going to the concert? No, I'm not going to the concert. Nothing against it. We love Hove, of course. But right now, No. If I'm spending 200 or 100 tickets, whatever, I'd rather put that 100, 200 up so I can make 500. That is the way I'm thinking. I'm thinking of uh, like a, a producer, not just a consumer. So going to the club is cool. I want to buy the club. How much is it to buy the club? Like, let me know. Seriously. I don't want to just go to the club. I want to buy that shit. How much is it? How much is it to buy Bandy? I want to buy it. I want to buy the club. Like, seriously. I don't want to just go to the club. I don't want to just go to the bar. Let's buy the fucking bar. How much is the bar? Let's buy them out. Let's practice group economics instead of going to line for 50, which is cool. We like 50. But we're going to just practice group economics. We're going to put all our money together. So we're just going to buy this fucking club. So now when you do go to the club, you're coming to a black-owned business, and we can hire more black people in the community. That is how you practice economics. <coughs> Do you deal with penny stocks? No, I do not fuck with penny stocks. Wakisha, how you doing, Queen? Um, no, I don't, I don't, I don't like penny stocks. I don't really fuck with penny stocks. Um, no, I don't. Penny stocks, they're cool, but they're risky. They trade, they don't trade on the New York Stock Exchange. They trade on the over-the-counter market, OTC market. No, I don't bang with penny stocks. Me, I'm a long-term investor. I'm a student of Warren Buffett philosophy and Dr. Watkins philosophy. Long-term investing, we buy and we hold, we pass on to grandkids, we don't day trade, we ain't trying to get rich quick. Me personally, I don't bang with penny stocks. That doesn't mean you can't make money with penny stocks, but I don't bang with penny stocks. Okay, talk about it, King. Yes, Audrey, how you doing? Can't wait to talk to you again next week. Can't wait to talk to you again next week for our call. Uh, yeah, long-term, long-term, penny stocks. That's, a lot. Now, that's another thing people always hit me about. I'm doing this penny stock, I'm trading, I'm day trading, I'm going to make this right now. No, no. I ain't into penny stocks. I ain't into day trading. Um, no, I'm, I'm into the long-term game, long-term wealth building game. That's another thing as a community we need to get. 
A lot of us are on that get rich quick type of shit. A lot of us are on that get rich quick scheme. Like, no, stop the get rich quick scheme. Stop the get rich quick scheme. Stop it, please. People hit me up all the time. Stop it. Seriously, stop the get rich quick. Like right now, if it's 2017, it's about to be 2018. So people are saying, all right, I'm about to launch this business in 2018. It's going to do well. It's going to make 100000 or 50000 or half a million, whatever. If you're just now launching a business for next year, you need to be thinking about like the next year or two. So if right now you don't even have a business and you're thinking about launching a business next year, you need to be planning for 2019 or 2020, 2021 now because uh, that is how you plan long term. You don't plan for now, you know, for 2018, we're saying we'll launch a business in 2018. All right, so are we planning that now? If we're launching something in June, we're planning it out in January or December of this year. We not waiting. Five-year plan, absolutely. Three to five years, Dre says three to five years with three to five people. That is how you get to the master plan. Uh, that's how you get to the master plan. But like I said, we need to get out of the get rich quick scheme because a lot of people are on the get rich quick scheme. A lot of people are on the get rich quick scheme. Now think about it. I was reading something the other day. <laughs> if you make four hundred thousand dollars or more, and I'm not talking about millions. People have million dollar ideas, million dollar dreams. I want to make a million dollars. All right, you might, you might. It can happen. Anything can happen. But people that make four hundred thousand dollars or more are in the top one percent. So to be in the top 1% in America is $400,000 or more. So that means 99% of the people in America make less than $400,000. 99% of the people in this country. So there's what? Three, 300 or 400 million people in the United States. 99% of them make less than $400,000. So what are the chances that you're really going to get, uh, make a million dollars that quick, make a million dollars online, whatever, that quick, overnight, fast? Just think about, just put that in perspective for a minute. Realistically, a lot of people talk like realistically. If you want to be in the top 1%, so if you say I make half a million dollars a year, half a million dollars a year, which, I mean, you can make. I'm not saying anything's possible. I mean, it's possible. Like, realistically, it is possible to put a current plan in place. Listen, digital marketing and just making money online. Listen, a thousand times a thousand is a million. So you go hard for five years. You get a thousand uh, people in your tribe. You offer a, a, a coaching service or any type of product that's well worth more than a thousand dollars, but you charge a thousand dollars to your thousand people that have been following you for a while. That's a million dollar business. A thousand times a thousand is a million. So realistically, it can do it. But... Uh, when it comes to uh, numbers and data, just statistics, 99% uh, of the people in this country make less than $400,000. So if you want to be in that, that top 1%, the top 1% in this country to make over $400,000, that shit is going to be hard. That's, that's going to be hard. That's not going to like come through an MLM scheme. That's not usually going to come through just, you know, waking up one day and starting a business and it just launches crazy. Uh, that usually is going to come through proper strategic planning, uh, years and years of work, sacrifice, stuff like that, learning and reading and training and hiring coaches and consultants and investing a lot of time and money and energy and resources to realistically make that happen. Um, you're going to really have to put a lot of effort in. So stop with the get rich quick scheme that a lot of people have. <laughs> We can't try and do it by ourselves. We need a good team. Absolutely. Definitely need a good team. Absolutely. Even church folk are flooded with prosperity preaching. This is not all faith. It's fantasy. We just have to dig our heels and do. Absolutely. We just got to do the work. A lot of people got to do the work, especially entrepreneurs. You want to be an entrepreneur? Do the work. Got to do the work. Well, that's why I'm saying that's, yo, it's work. This shit is work. You got to put the work in. A lot of people don't want to put the work in. Put the work in. Put the work in. Make those sacrifices. Make those sacrifices. You might not be able to go on vacation this year. All right. You might not be able to buy as much stuff for Christmas. All right. You might not be able to go to Jay-Z concert. You might not be able to buy the Yeezys. All right. Put in the work. So if you put in the work, three to five years, ten years, whatever it takes, you might be able to just buy the store. Instead of just buying the sneaks, 
you might put in enough work where you can just buy the store. I want to buy the store. I don't want to buy the sneaks. I want to buy the store. I don't want to go to the club. I want to buy the club. I want to buy the club. Seriously. How do we buy the club? We practice group economics. We put our money together. We learn business and entrepreneurship. We learn how to make money through marketing and sales funnels and upsells and stuff like that. So we have the proper uh, money, the revenue coming in so we can buy that club or we can buy that block or we can buy that franchise, whatever it is, just like how all the communities do. Indians, they get all the Dunkin' Donuts franchises. They hire their relatives, other people, their own people and other people come and support and they just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you haven't already, please share. Please share this information. We need this information out to the people. We need these jewels that I'm giving out for free. Not everything will be for free. So when they are for free, you better take advantage. <clears throat> Make sure you share this information if you haven't already. Uh, but again, back to the main topic before we wrap. Make sure if you have an upsell in your business. Make sure you have like Audrey. Audrey's a notary. She does a lot of other many things, art and hope. She's this amazing queen. So when you're selling your art, Audrey, put that upsell in there. Put that upsell. So we got this painting, but you know, if you get this too, you know, this will go good with your painting. So you go put this painting on it at your crib, uh, but we got this little small one. We can get a, you can give you a little small frame to go with your painting. Start selling the frames. So we ain't just selling the painting. Uh, we're selling the frames to go with it. <coughs> or for if you do a notary, so we're going to offer this and we're going to offer something to go with it. Put together a little notary course. Put together a little notary course or something else to go with it. So we, yeah, we had the service that we're offering for notary, uh, but you can also get our course as well uh, just to upsell with the notary service. Let me work on it better. Yeah, we can talk about that when we speak next week. <clears throat> Great nuggets, yes. Uh, yes. Oh, thank you. Um, so, <clears throat> again, if you see value in this information, if this information is helpful, uh, if you see anything in this conversation that you like, uh, just please share. Also, you can go to uh, makingfinancialliteracycool.com. We typed it in there. Somebody, can you please type it again? makingfinancialliteracycool.com makingfinancialliteracycool.com you can also go to my website um, mccrayfinancialsolutions.com mccrayfinancialsolutions.com <clears throat> if you want more information I have many courses to go over a lot of different stuff like financial literacy and affiliate marketing and uh, making money online through social media and creating a YouTube channel that you can try to monetize and running Facebook ads correctly and setting up your e-commerce store, Shopify or Printful or all that type of stuff. I have courses on all that stuff. I do do one-on-one -on -one sessions. Uh, like I said, the consultant fee is about to increase January 1st. Um, I do a lot more business coaching sessions when we build out sales funnels for people. So if you want to, if you don't know how to build a sales funnel, you don't know how to use click funnels, I can build out a sales funnel for you. Uh, to get more revenue <clears throat> in your business, but it ain't going to be free. Um, it's going to cost because it's going to be for people that are really serious about business. If you aren't serious about your business, it's going to be hard for other people to take you serious about your business. So you got to invest in your business. You got to invest in yourself. You got to invest in your business. You got to invest in yourself. So a, a consultant might charge you 200 an hour to get millions of dollars information, but you got to pay it. I'll pay it. If someone can help me make an extra 10,000 or even a, if you can help me make an extra thousand a month, an extra thousand a month. So that's extra 12,000 a year or 2,000 a year or 2,000 a month. I'll glad you pay you a thousand dollars. If you can help me make an extra 2,000 a month, I'll pay you a thousand dollars for a consulting call. No problem. Absolutely. So if I charge you a hundred or 200 or 150 and I can help you make that uh, right back. I can help you make that ROI probably with all the juice I'm going to give you. It really shouldn't be that hard to pay $100 for like an hour, hour and a half or two hours. But a lot of people are like, $100 for an hour or two hours? Like, oh, that's too much. Well, I could give you literally hundreds of thousand dollars worth of jewels that I paid for or I didn't invest it in time and trial and error and stuff like that. I could give it to you uh, for 
not paying, uh, going through two years worth of trial and error for not paying thousands of dollars for other courses and consultants and coaches and all that type of stuff. I could give you jewels, uh, but you got to invest in yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, then uh, no one's going to invest in you. So again, the main thing was upsells. Make sure you have an upsell. Every business does it, damn near every business. We went over a lot of other big brands. See, when I went to Verizon store and I bought a new phone, what did they say? Well, you got a new phone? Okay, why don't you get the case? Why don't you get the, uh, why don't you get the case? Why don't you get the um, screen protector? Why don't you get the car charger? All that. So I went in there just to buy a new phone. I said, I need a new phone. I want it. I like it. iPhone X. I like it. I wanted it. So I bought it. So when you buy the new phone, what do they do? They say, okay, well, you bought the new phone. Well, you know, for 80, extra $80, you can get the screen protector, you can get the uh, the car charger, and you can get the case uh, with, to go with your new phone, upsell. Look at McDonald's. When you walk in McDonald's, what, and you say, I, want, I just want to get a burger. I want a quarter pounder. That's all I want for a day. But you know, uh, you can get the quarter pounder with the fries and the drink. You know, the sandwich is 3 $4.00. Or five dollars, whatever. But if you pay seven dollars, you can get the fries and a drink with it. Upsell, upsell. You go to Vistaprint. I went to Vistaprint to order some stuff. As soon as I went to pick out what I wanted from Vistaprint, they say, "Well, people that bought this also bought this." Upsell. When you go on Amazon and purchase something on Amazon, I, I like this on Amazon. I'm gonna go on Amazon. I'm gonna purchase this. I like this book, or I like this DVD, or I like this whatever. Well, people that bought that book. That's a book about entrepreneurship. People that bought that book also bought this book about uh, making sure your taxes are in place. Upsell. Upsell. Yes. So you see. Yes. Trying to give them jewels for free uh, because January 1st, prices are going to double. So I'm trying to give y'all jewels for free. Upsell. Yep. After the phone upsell, you get mad emails. Exactly. Upsell. When I went to Sneaker Villa, I went to Sneaker Villa probably like a month ago, whatever, two months ago before I went to Kentucky just to buy some new stuff <clears throat> for the trip. So when I go in there, what's the first thing they do? Like if you go to the mall, Neiman Marcus or wherever you go, you go to the mall, what's the first thing they ask you for before they will, while they're ringing up your order, what's the first thing they ask you for? Your email. First thing they ask you for is your email. Why is that? Because they want to keep uh, selling more products to you. They ask you for your email. So it's not just about you coming in to Sneaker Villa to buy sneaks. Yes, we want that. So a lot of people go into business and say, all right, I'm selling sneaks or T-shirts or clothing, whatever. But they're thinking about just selling the sneakers or just selling the clothing, just selling the T-shirt, just selling the pants. No, that is the way you work as a hustler. Hustlers are good, but we want to be real CEOs. We want to be real CEOs. So we're not just coming in, okay, how can I sell the sneakers or the t-shirt? No. How can I create an entire brand and create an entire company? So when they come into the store for the sneakers and the t-shirts and stuff like that, we don't just say, okay, come into the store, buy the sneakers. Yes, we're happy you bought the sneakers. All right, have a good day. We hope to see you again. No, that is not how we do business. As soon as you go into the store and they ring you up, what do they ask for? Your email. They ask for your email. Like Vincent said, they ask for your email because they want to keep sending more emails to you. They want to keep sending more emails to you. Email marketing. Email mark. I'm going to do a video on that. I'm writing about everything down. I'm going to do a video on specifically email marketing and the importance of email marketing because a lot of people may think email is dead. People don't open their emails. Yo, you're tripping. If you're an entrepreneur and a business owner, you don't have an email list, you are tripping. So, yeah, they yeah they do. Absolutely, they do. That's why you look in your inbox like, why? I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this list. Why am I getting all these crazy emails? They sell it to other people. So, I'll go to someone and say, listen, you can give me some leads. I'll give you some money because these leads will be into my target market. So, yes, I need those leads. I need those emails so we can email market to them. <clears throat> I'm going to do a video specifically on email marketing and the importance and the power of email marketing. I'm definitely going to do that. I wrote that down. Um, yes, email marketing is very important. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner and you don't have an email list, I don't care if it's just a service-based business. I don't care if it's just brick and mortar. I don't care what type of business it is. Consider 
having an email list if you don't already have an email list. Consider email marketing. And then once you get the email marketing, then we'll talk about automation. Automation is a different animal. That's a whole different conversation. A lot of people aren't even ready to talk about automation, but automation is something you definitely want to have in place. That's true. Sometimes you need a VA to get some of the things done. Yes, absolutely. I'm about to hire a VA as well. I got that Black Friday deal through your email. Exactly. Email marketing. <laughs> email marketing. And all those emails were scheduled. All those emails were scheduled. <clears throat> so I could wake up or be chilling, you know, uh, whatever. Family it was Thanksgiving and Black Friday. So I could be with family. I could be chilling, whatever. And emails are still going out. And I could still be making money without actually having to physically do something. Email marketing. All those emails were scheduled. I was sending emails at 6, 7 in the morning, Black Friday. Wake your ass up. It's time to spend money. Buy black. Keep it black. Also providing value. Providing a bundle pack courses and consultant, consultant, uh, uh, hourly consulting fee, uh, consulting uh, calls, courses and apparel. I was offering value, uh, but also, you know, uh, still email marketing, all that type of stuff. But like I said, I was sending emails six, seven in the morning. Wake your ass up. It's Black Friday. People are wanting to spend money, but they need to spend it black. Let me offer value as well to make people want to uh, get my offer, want people to purchase the offer. But it was all through emails. And I could be sleeping at six in the morning because Thanksgiving was good. Had a good time with family. I wasn't up six, seven in the morning on Black Friday, but I still had emails going out with offers to make money to make money. So that's what I'm saying. There's business shit. It's levels to this. It's levels to this. And I'm getting higher up on a level. Um, so if you want to catch up, if you want to keep up, please take advantage of the information that I provide. <clears throat> please take advantage of the information that I provide. So like I said, I'm going to do a, sp a separate uh, lecture or video on email marketing, the power of email marketing. And then also automation. Make sure you have automation in place. <laughs> Make sure you have automation in place that will trigger different actions. So if someone does this, we want an automatic sequence to go out if they do this. So if we trigger this, then we will get this. If you enroll in this, uh, if you enroll in this course, we're going to send you emails about this and try to upsell this. <laughs> Or if someone comes into your brick and mortar retail store and we get their email while they purchase the product, as soon as that new lead goes into the system, we will automatically hit them with offers. Automatically hit them with offers. All business owners should develop an email list anytime someone contacts them. Uh, yes, absolutely. Thank you for putting it down there. Um, who was that? Yolanda or it might be my cousin. Um, Thank you for putting that down there. Thank you. Uh, but yes, all, that's what I'm saying. As soon as someone goes, so you go into the store or someone goes into your store to purchase something or you're doing the hair, whatever, and listen, give, give me your email. Yeah, we're about to ring you up. Uh, you know, you bought the hair or, you you know, we did your hair or whatever, whatever service we provided. As soon as we're ringing it up, what's your email? So as soon as that email goes into the system, there should be some type of automated sequence that follows up and nurtures that customer uh, all through an automated process. And there are many different ways to do that. There's Infusionsoft. Uh, there is Salesforce, which is bigger. There is Active Campaign. You can use MailChimp and all AWeber, stuff like that. Like MailChimp, AWeber, they're good. That's what I was using. But uh, now I use Infusionsoft. So if you need you feel Infusionsoft, I would highly recommend you check out Infusionsoft. Infusionsoft will change your business. Infusionsoft is on another level, though. It's definitely on another level. This is for people that are really, really trying to scale, really trying to grow, really trying to uh, have a real sustainable revenue business. Uh, Yolanda, yeah, I thought it was you. Thank you. Yes, Infusionsoft. Infusionsoft is just a CRM, client relationship management system uh, that will just put an automatic sequence in and you have to do less work. Less work but you will have to know what the hell you're doing in that system. You will know how to use that system effectively. So this is for real entrepreneurs, people that really have real businesses, people that really uh, you know, want sustainable revenue, really have real products and services to offer. 
Uh, but that's another animal. We could talk about the future soft and automation and campaigns and all that type of stuff. Like that's what I'm saying. That the levels keep going up. So for right now, let's bring it down. Let's talk about upsells and the importance of having a sales funnel. Importance of having a sales funnel or some type of landing page, something lead magnet, whatever, something of value to capture. Uh, and then once we do have a customer, okay, you bought this, so we upsell immediately. So that's why you can have automation in place to upsell immediately. So as soon as someone purchased that product, we can have an automated email go out to uh, that person for a new offer automatically. Automatically. That is how you can really scale your business. <coughs> that is how you can really scale your business. So like I said, you want to make sure you have a good upsell. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you have a sales funnel and then automation behind it. Thank you, Dan, for typing that in. Uh, but yes, yeah, so for right now, just make sure you have the right upsell in your business. Also, if you haven't already, please share. Please share this information. Uh, this was going longer than I expected. Only want to come in for a few minutes just to drop a few jewels, but y'all got me going. Uh, people are engaged and I love it. So I just really just want to help because I'm just seeing, you know, learn information, fusion software, or whatever. Uh, learn a lot of things about business and I'm just saying like how we do business. I'm like, yo, we got to level up. We got to level up as a community. We want to do business like the big brands and everything. We got to level up. We got to level up. Information is out there. We spending money with these people, um, but we need to be putting this into our business system so we can get that revenue. We can get that additional revenue. So again, uh, upsells. Make sure you have an upsell in your business. I'm going to come back and do a specific thing on email marketing and automation, stuff like that. But make sure you have an upsell. Make sure you have a sales funnel. Make sure you have a landing page. You can do that through lead pages or you can do that through click funnels. I really like click funnels. So going into the new year, I will be building out sales funnels for people. So if you may say, listen, that stuff is cool, but I just don't know how to build a, a landing page or a ClickFunnels page or a sales funnel. I can build it out for you. Starting in the new year, I will be building out sales funnels for you. I will be building out sales funnel for you. That's thousands of dollars worth of jewels. Literally, people pay three, five, ten thousand, up to a million dollars for someone to build out a funnel for them. And I'll be building out funnels for businesses, people that really want to get more leads, people that really want to get more conversions, people that really want to nurture those leads and turn them into real customers. I will be building out uh, sales funnels for you for uh, a fee. It won't be that much, but it won't, uh, you know, it will definitely be for people that are serious. Not really just about the money. It's about me trying to give my resources and knowledge to people that just don't know about like uh, sales funnels and all that type of stuff. So I can build out a funnel for you and then you can implement that in your business. But it's for people that are really serious about their business. Really serious about their business. So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you haven't already, please share. Please share this information. Also, uh, my website, McCraryFinancialSolutions.com. McCurryFinancialSolutions.com. You can visit that. Someone type it in <clears throat> before we head out. And you can also, if you want to just check out some of the information that I talked about, uh, you can check out my course. Go to MakingFinancialLiteracyCool.com. Someone please type it in. Uh, MakingFinancialLiteracyCool.com. MakingFinancialLiteracyCool.com. Um, also, if you haven't already, please share it. If you come on and you watch the replay, uh, drop a comment or, or also share, share on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, wherever you at, please share, please share this information. If you want me to start coaching you in business, please contact me. I would love to be your business coach. I would love to help you, but it's going to be for people that are serious. I don't want to waste your time and please don't waste my time. So if you want some business coaching, you want some business consulting, please email me info at ryanjmccrary.com, info at ryanjmccrary.com, or you can go to my website, mccrayfinancialsolutions.com, mccrayfinancialsolutions.com, and then we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. We can really go in depth about your business, about how to get a real funnel, about automation and infusion soft and all that other type of stuff. Uh, so we can really uh, get you where you can really start making money <clears throat> and just really scale a business and really have a real business. The difference between being self-employed and having a business, having a business, having a system in place that works when you don't is different than being self-employed. When you're self-employed, 
Uh, you have to work to make money. You don't have a system in place to really have a real business, really grow a business because you don't have a system that works when you don't. Uh, so I want to help people get to the system, all the systems that I've been working on, <clears throat> the funnels that I've been working on. I really want to uh, start coaching people on business so we can really level up. So we can really love. So if you want to uh, want me to coach you on business or consulting, all that type of stuff, the, the emails down there. Thank you, Deb, for putting it in. Uh, and then McCraveFinancialSolutions.com, McCraveFinancialSolutions.com. So that's pretty much it for today. If this was uh, helpful, if you see value in this, please share. Please tell a friend. You can also be an affiliate of the course. So I do have many courses that I offer. But you can also for free be an affiliate and you can make money for selling the course. So if you take the course and you see the course, you know, he has his financial literacy course. You're telling your friends and relatives about it. You can also make money for selling the course for free. It does not cost for you to sign up to be an affiliate. You can also make money for selling the course and providing the information to people. And then you can make money off it as well. So that's it for today. Everyone have a great day. Uh, and, and just enjoy whatever you're doing. Uh, like I said, if this was helpful, please drop a comment. If you watch the replay, drop a comment. So I just really want to help people. I want us to all scale up. So if you have a business, make sure you have an upsell.